What's up, guys? It's Raph. You know what it is. Um, so this video here, um, I'm going to post. It's an unedited, just the few moments of turning on the 800T for the first time. So you see the loading screen, maybe a little bit of a, a local TV. Um, I didn't say it on camera, but in my brain and my thoughts, looking at the screen, I knew this wasn't going to be the TV for me. Because I watch a lot of antenna TV, local antenna free stuff. And the LG OLED, the C10, had a much better upscaler. So local TV looked much better than the 800 did. Um, so yeah, I'll put this fo footage on for you. Just a quick uh, few minutes. Otherwise, um, the 800 t is, is gone. You guys saw the LG OLED is sitting right there in the box. And I cannot wait to unbox it and open it up. And just fully immersed in the perfect picture quality of OLED. There's no denying, no no talking around it. It is OLED or OLED, guys. You knew it. You knew it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching this. Uh, I'm going to put this video up. And then uh, I'm going to make the unboxing later. All right, guys. Take care. See ya. What's up, guys? Here we are. This is the very first time I'm going to turn this 8K television on. I'm going to do it for you guys. This is the initial setup video. Got the remote control right here. Standard Samsung remote. Pressing the power button. Right now. Holy cow. QLED 8K. Okay, starting up for the first time. Looking at the screen. Whew. Whew looking pretty good wow okay download and run the latest smart things app on your mobile then start samsung tv okay you may press the right button to set up the tv with the tv remote the accessibility function is available when you press and hold the volume button all right smart things Okay guys, so after um, I went through the setup, it basically goes through your phone. You set up the SmartThings app on your phone and that's where you uh, activate your account and it goes through the uh, the, the zip code and, and there's the, main, the, the minor things that you set it up. Uh, right now it went to TV, that's off my antenna. Um, so right now it's it, it's got this uh, auto detect mode, so it's detecting the brightness of the room and all these things. So I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna go through those settings and turn that off. This is just pressing the home button on the remote control. Um, so yeah, lots of you know stuff to watch. Um, I didn't, I haven't touched any of the picture settings right now, uh, but just by looking at it, it's it's got the brightness, the black levels are nice, the color is great, details there. I'd rather I set the picture as far as the brightness goes, so it's consistently the same. And I don't want the TV to do that stuff. So uh, I selected Alexa for voice. It also uh, uh, had gave you an option of uh, Bixby. I'm not sure about Google. I haven't gotten too far into it. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of stuff I need to go through here. External. So that's the one where we set up the game mode and things. Eco. Ambient light detection. Turn that off. Power saver, turn that off. Motion lighting, reduces power consumption with motion sensitive bright control. Nope, we don't want none of this. I don't want any kind of auto brightness. That's all off. Uh, wow, lots of, lots of stuff here, guys. Lots of stuff. Uh, external device manager, that's, that's for ARC. Input signal plus. Um, so I'm on input three, so you want to turn that guy on. Uh, the black level is low, so I didn't get a chance to uh, change that. Uh, support, software update. Let's see if there's an update for this beast. There are no updates right now, okay. Auto update is enabled. Let's see, broadcasting, that's the uh, audio options. 
multi-track, TV speaker and sound mode, and the standard. VRC mode, auto, Atmos compatibility, set to on if your HDMI detects Atmos, sure. Auto volume? No, I don't want that. Uh, picture, of course. Picture mode, you have standard, natural, movie, or dynamic. I'm going natural. Uh, standard. I'm not sure. I'm going to keep it on standard. Then we can do just a... This is where we get all the nitty gritty and picture settings here. I'll have to do a lot more research on uh, settings for, for the Samsung. Uh, local dimming. We got low, standard, high. I think standard looks pretty good. Contrast enhancer. We don't need that stuff. I'm turning that off. Fill modes, auto or off. Standard, I want warm for sure. White balance, gamma. Shadow detail, RGB only mode. Color space, native. Reset picture. I need to get to the motion settings. That's what I really want to get to. Motion settings. Where is motion settings on this thing? Expert settings should be motion. Custom shows a little bit more actually. So I haven't found the motion yet. Oh, this right here. Picture clarity. Custom. Here we go. Is that black field insertion? Yep. I see flicker on that, so I'm going to keep that off. I'll have to find out what the best settings is for uh, the judder and blur reduction. All right, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna end it here. I'm gonna tweak this TV a lot more go through some more settings here uh, but hopefully guys this helps you out uh, a little bit gives you a little more insight i'm going to tweak it some more do some research on it and then we'll play some more all right guys so i'm playing mortal kombat and oh god no god no guys no oh my gosh raf cave club you were right. You were right. The OLED is a much better picture than this. I mean, the anime, the, the the fluid motion of this is awesome. This actually is smoother than the uh, OLED. Um, everything moves is very nice. I mean, it's very silky smooth. The animation is just fantastic. And, uh... It just it's just smooth, but the problem is 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 the gray the gray blacks. And another thing, guys, is that because the stand is a little higher, that I have to that I'm sitting a little lower from it, that I'm actually seeing the uh, the blooming more in the upper corners.
Like if I stand up and look at it straight on, it gets better. But when I sit back in my gaming chair and I look up at it, then the uh, the black, the, the blooming the starts. Um, and this is as bright as it gets. Like I have it full contrast. I have contrast enhancer turned on. And it, it just seem, it doesn't seem bright to me. I mean, honestly, it does not seem bright, which is very strange. Very strange to me. Considering the QLED is supposed to be the brightest TV out there, and I, I think it's not even bright, it's like dull. And I'm in the basement. Like the, the background is kind of grayish. Like all that around Scorpion is gray. Oh my god. Yep, kind of disappointed right now, guys. Kind of disappointed. Let's see if uh, YouTube shows 8K. Skip it. Let's just watch some 8K stuff. Eight K. Eight K. That's four K. I don't see any eight K in the bottom. It says four K, four K, four K. Where's the eight K? I thought this had the. Uh, I thought this had the the, the AV one Kodak to show 8k videos on YouTube am I uh, am I missing something here um, yeah this is all 4k stuff no 8k at all Turn that off, Jesus. What? There's no like settings like, hey, do you have an 8K TV or something? There's nothing in uh, an 8K. Oh, gosh, I have to go back to type in 8K. I've seen this video before. Why does the picture look this bad? I'm in movie mode. Dynamic, standard, natural. What's going on? Why are the colors... Why are the colors kind of limish? Oh my god, there's no way. There's no freaking way... That this 8K TV doesn't look as good as the 4K I had in the 55 inch. Oh my god, how much work did I do to put this TV here? How long does it take to focus? Why is it taking so long? I have an Ethernet cable hooked up to a fiber line. And this is still not all the way tweaked uh, as far as bitrate goes. No freaking way. I'm appalled right now. I'm absolutely appalled. You can't be serious. This cannot be an, an AK TV. What is that? Oh, this is gross. Uh, I'm, I'm turning this video off. I'm disgusted. Goodbye.